guys, it's me, Jake, from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this Audi A3. This one is just a standard 1.8T front-wheel drive model, but this is still a very nice-looking and very well-equipped little car inside and out. Outside, you can see this one is finished off in a white exterior, which is a very nice, clean-looking color, especially with these wheels. Outside, you can see body-colored mirrors with your LED turn signal indicators built in, body-colored door handles, and up top, this one does have the panoramic roof. See your radio antenna right there. I have to say, these are probably one of my favorite things that Audi makes. Even, not just the S model, even the regular A3s. These are still very fun to drive little cars. Around the rear, your A3 and Audi badges. You can see your LED plate bulbs up above. This one also is equipped with a rear backup camera and rear parking sensors. Coming up to this side, you can see this one is riding on a set of Pirelli Cinturado P7 tires. They're 225 45R17s, 17-inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes on this one. And in typical Audi fashion, fuel cap is on the passenger side. Just walk up and press release. And I believe when the vehicle is locked, it won't release. Everything follows through over here. And up front, you can see your projector HID headlights, your LED accents on them, your Audi badge. This one also is equipped with front parking sensors. Go ahead and get in. Include your typical Audi switchblade key. Lock, unlock, and then press and hold. It will release the trunk. Go ahead and step in. And inside, this one does have the chestnut brown leather interior, which this is such a pretty color combo on this one. You can see it is super clean inside. Full power driver's seat, of course. And this one does have your factory carpeted floor mats. Go ahead and start it, foot on the brake, insert the key. And typical Audi, just flick to start. And once you're inside, as you can see, this one does have the leather-wrapped steering wheel. Nice and tight power steering. As well as on the wheel itself, you have your or audio system controls, different controls for the center display, which I'll get to in a second, and all of that. Cruise control back here on that paddle. On the door, it's all padded material up top. Your door handle, power locks, your power mirrors down below, which also are heated. All four of your automatic windows, and then your rear window lockout storage down below and your trunk release right there and then up here you have your headlight controls they are automatic and then your fog lights as well right here you can see your gauge dimmer and up top the dashboard is all soft padded material all the way around it looks and feels fantastic i mean even though this is pretty much a base model this is still a very very nice interior these vents as well i love these pod style ones where you can adjust them like this and then open and close them that way in the center, you can see your gauges, tachometer, speedometer, and then the center display, as I mentioned. But you can bring up different vehicle functions, your audio system, and Bluetooth phone. Down below, you do have your trip odometer reset. In the center, typical Audi MMI, especially on this platform, you do have the screen, which will raise and lower, just by the press of a button, which is very nice, too, if you want a clean dash layout, because most of the functions from the screen you can actually do on that display. But very easy, you can raise and lower it like that. You do have your two air vents below there. Parking sensors on and off, hazard controls, as well as your traction control on and off. And all of your controls, typical Audi, MMI, down below. Scroll through your radio, press up for nav, which this one isn't equipped with, but I believe can be installed. Telephone, and you can go between radio and media right here. Each of these quadrants around the uh, selector will coincide to a different part of the display, bring up different settings, things like that. And this one as well, even though it is just the standard audio system, it really does sound fantastic. Typical Audi, it just packs a punch. Um, around here, dual zone, automatic climate control, zone for the passenger, zone for the driver, your fan speed and everything else. Two cup holders up front, storage, and then a 12 volt outlet. And back here, this one is equipped with the six speed S-Tronic, Dual clutch automatic. Choose between drive and sport mode, manual mode, and then reverse. As I mentioned, this one does have front and rear parking sensors as well as your rear backup camera. Parking brake, and then your padded armrest in the middle. Storage inside of there, as well as your USB and auxiliary in. And this typical Volkswagen and Audi fashion is adjustable. 
can raise and lower it as well as slide it in and out. Seats in this one, very comfortable, high quality leather. They look and feel exactly like you would expect from Audi. Just very, very nice. And I love this brown interior. Up top, your interior lighting controls, all of that. Do have your ambient lighting up there, as well as your sunroof controls. Sunroof. It does have a manual sunshade, but I honestly prefer that in something like this. Manually dimming rear view mirror. And you do have your visor, your vanity light up above. And handle on the side. Go ahead and step out. Unlock all the doors, driver's side window down, and pop the hood right there. Also go ahead, put on the headlights. Inside the rear seat of this A3, everything does follow through material quality wise. You have your padded leather on the door. See the seats, same beautiful leather back here. And this is a more compact sedan, obviously, but I am six foot two and I can sit behind myself. This seat's where I would sit, and I mean, I know it looks awful on camera, but I can sit back here without touching. Seats, same nice leathers up front, like I just said. You have your armrests in the middle, storage, two cup holders right there. And this will drop down and act as a ski pass for the trunk up top. Lighting. You do have nets on the back of each seat, as well as down below, two air vents for the rear passengers. Inside of the trunk, everything follows through in here. Plenty of space for what it is. You do have both your carpeted rear floor mats, storage behind that panel, fuse panels, things like that. And then below here, you have your spare tire, jack storage, and everything else. Back seat, everything follows through on this side. Close up top, you can even drop that down. Is a 60 40 split fold. Up front, this one does have a manual passenger seat. Inside of the glove box, as you can see, this one does include your state inspection certificate. So it looks like a decent amount of service history, all of your owner's literature, and everything like that. I wouldn't even be surprised if the uh, original window sticker was somewhere in there. And up front, you can see the projector HID headlights on this one. Close under the hood. Like I said, this being the standard one, this is the 1.8 liter turbo four cylinder which honestly with front wheel drive and still with the dual clutch gearbox, this is still a very fun to drive car. Plenty of power and you can get great gas mileage with this setup. Get back in. Bring the automatic driver's side window back up. Cut it off right here. Move the key. And headlights back in auto mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.